Every now and then, a potential leak comes across my desk that just makes me smile. And when it comes to major Nintendo IPs, I'm always willing to listen. This time around, however, this leak actually makes not only sense in so much that, yeah, we really want this to happen, it makes sense from a logical perspective as well. And it really makes me excited for what's coming from the big end. Now, before we get into this leak, I want to remind you that our channel is sponsored by eWin Racing. When it comes to buying a gaming office chair, don't just trust anyone. I've dealt with crappy chairs from Amazon, Walmart, even Office Depot. No, trust eWin Racing, who has a chair just the right size for you. Trust me, one size doesn't fit all. <laughs> can relate to this guy right there. That's why Ewin Racing offers five different size chairs so you can get the exact fit to your height and weight. Don't settle for your local pick up it's free or Facebook Marketplace lightly used chairs. Of course, what you actually want to know is, hey, what is this going to cost me? Well, thanks to discount code Nintendo Prime, you can take a chair from Ewin Racing that's over $200 and get it for just $183. Whoa! Is that still a bit steep for your wallet today? Well, thanks to Klarna and Afterpay, you can split your payment for your chair into four payments over four months, completely interest-free, no credit check required. That way, you can get your much-needed chair today. So what are you waiting for? Get your chair to complete your gaming setup right now. Just be sure to use code Nintendo Prime at checkout to get your 20% off. Link will be in the description or the additional text attached to this video. So what are we talking about? Well, first we need to revisit a game that came out back in 2021 and is now the best-selling game in its franchise. We're talking about Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread surprised everyone when it was announced at that year's E3, taking people by storm, not just because it's Metroid Dread, but because it was Dread itself, a long canceled fifth game in the series from many, many years ago, seeing that come back in the form that it did was quite enthralling. Now, lots of things about the game to love, right? Maybe you weren't always into the Emmy mechanics, but there were very clever platforming and puzzles, amazing boss fights, and a really intricate world to explore. Sure, lots of backtracking as Metroid usually has, but it ended up being a very well-received game. It ended up being up for Game of the Year at the Game Awards that year. And yes, it is now the best-selling Metroid game of all time, likely sitting right around $3 million in sales. They haven't given us an update since 2.9. I think it's safe to assume it's probably hit $3 million at this point, which would be the best-selling Metroid game of all time, outselling any of the Prime games. And the crazy thing is, this game was announced well after Metroid Prime 4 was announced back in 20. 17 but we all know that game had a reboot in development now mercury steam was the primary team making metroid dread of course the creator of metroid was working with them on it but what's interesting to me however is a new rumor cropping up because this comes from a person who actually told us the name and released year of this game before it, we even knew it existed it was a person no one was really paying attention to mostly because they come from Spain. So here's the interesting part. They did leak Metroid Dread back in 2021 and said it would release by the end of the year. And this was before E3 and they were correct. Here's what they're saying now, however, Mercury Steam is working on a brand new 2D side-scrolling Metroid game to release in 2025. Now that is really exciting, and yes, it makes sense. While we are, are waiting for the rumored Metroid Prime remake or the known Metroid Prime 4, it does make sense that we would be getting an immediate you know, sequel to Metroid Dread. And if it's not a sequel, maybe it's a new story arc because 5 Dread, it was supposed to wrap up the current Metroid story arc. Oh, so now they could set up something new and maybe the end of dread will set up something new and create a brand new story arc but whatever happens it makes sense that this is going on now going from 2021 to 2025 would be about a three and a half year dev cycle i do think that makes sense for a game like this because metroid dread was one of the highest quality metroidvania games we had seen from a triple a publisher in quite some time so i'm really excited to see what mercury steam can now do 
with a brand new Metroid game. In fact, when I hear 2025, part of my brain goes, is that also going to be before Metroid Prime 4 comes out? Hey, we can't be getting two brand new side-scrolling Metroid games before Metroid Prime 4, right? That can't happen, right? So I don't know what's going to happen, of course. This person obviously has a you know spotless track record when it comes to this Metroid stuff. So we're going to be paying attention to this. I do think Mercury Steam is working on a new Metroid game. It just makes too much sense. They did such a good job with Dread. It sold so well. Why wouldn't Nintendo go back to that well again? I do think when you think forward to 2025, we're probably talking about it being on the next hardware system, but that's okay. I doubt that this game needs intense hardware. You know, you can get some higher resolutions, I suppose, but it already ran super well on Switch. Dread did. So I'm just going to sit here and smile at the thought that we might be entering a heyday for Metroid. Of all of the IPs that I thought could hit a stride, you know, the Marios, the Zeldas, the Splatoons, even Animal Crossing, no, it's Metroid. Getting a brand new game in 2021, maybe a remake and brand new game sometime here, either this year or next year, and another brand new game in 2025 is just exciting. It reminds me of the... You know, heyday of Zelda games when we used to get the brand new games seemingly every couple of years, right? It was just a thing, you know, between the handheld and home console games. It really felt like we were just, you know, hey, three out of every five years, we were getting Zelda games, brand new ones, not remakes. So this is just feels like we're in this heyday for Metroid. Capitalize on the new popularity of the IP. Keep it going. See if you can grow it. I think it makes a lot of sense. And I think we'll know by the end of Metroid Prime 4 sales and this next Metroid game if Metroid is going to be that series that's finally going to raise itself to a new level. Can we hit 5 mil? Can we become a consistent 6, 7, 8 million seller? I think we're going to be finding out if Metroid has the ability to grow very, very soon. So whether it's Metroid Prime Remake, whether it's Metroid Prime 4 in the next year or so, or whether it happens to be this brand new side-scrolling Metroid game, I'm just very excited. I mean, if you guys think I'm not a fan of Metroid because I don't talk about it a lot, think about this. I am actually the founder of MetroidWiki.org. Think about that. I ended up selling the place off because I was having a hard time keeping up with running an entire wiki like that plus running an old website called Zelda Informer. Zelda Informer at the time was the breadwinner and where a lot of my time had gone. And while I spent over a year working on Metroid Wiki, trying to prop it up and get it set up, I ended up selling it. I think it was, I think it was a really cheap sale through like $75, something like that. Uh, I, I clearly wasn't sitting there trying to make bank. I just wanted to make sure it got into the right hands. And I... It's done okay since those days. Uh, they did have a number of updates back in 2021 for Dread anyway. So obviously when you have so few and far in between Metroid releases, there's not always a ton of work to do on a Metroid wiki. But anyways, I clearly am a huge fan of the IP. I can't wait. And hey, that's just a theory. A game. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Why is game theory always in my brain? The funny thing is, I haven't even been watching Game Theory that much lately. I've been watching the Food Theory channel because I find it fascinating. Who knew? A big guy like me likes food? Never. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And let me know your thoughts on this rumor, leak, whatever you want to call it, down below.